everyone, it's Jamie here. I haven't done a video for ages, but I'm in a bit of a scrappy slump and thought that I would um, do a video real time and show you what um, I'm working on. I just wanted to do something really simple, really easy. And these are two photos that I haven't scrapped from Christmas 2016. And I came across a paper kit, a Delish Scraps Just Add paper kit from Christmas 2016. And the idea behind these kits is that you just add paper. So it's got all the embellishments and things that I need. It's got a Merry Christmas title, beautiful little bits and pieces, and even a stencil that I thought I could use and just make a really quick layout. That's the idea. We'll see how, how quickly I can do it. I also thought I would use some Distress Oxides and um, some of these makeup brushes. I've just labelled them with some sticky tape and a, cut, a square colour of um, cardstock so I know which sort of colour family each one is. And these are just, I think the brand was OXO, OXO, I don't know how you pronounce it, but from Kmart. Um, they came three in a pack. So they came with a big one, a medium one and a small one, but I won't need the small one today. So I thought these two colours of Distress Oxide, Spun Sugar and Tumble Glass would work really well with the colours in the kit and I will use some basil marshmallow cardstock and a friend of mine used this the other day when she was here scrapping Kelly these Liquitex glass beads and I thought they would be a bit Christmassy and good to use with that little stencil so we'll see how we go um, I'm conscious though that these two colours mix will actually make purple so I'll try not to <laughs> overlap them too much we shall see how I go um, but I just want to get down a little bit of sort of color uh, on this cardstock just to I guess give a bit of a grounding for the photos and for the embellishments and given it's of my daughter I thought these lovely soft colors would be really nice um, to use and like I said they match with what's in the paper kit so we'll sort of see how we go I don't have any plan here there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, but these makeup brushes, I love how they give such a soft sort of blend of the ink. There's no um, harsh lines, which is really, really nice. So, um, all right, where will I put the next one? Maybe just down here. And I'm just sort of starting in the middle and working my way out so I get a nice soft edge there. I might go a bit further out. And I'm just, they're quite flexible. Um, so I'm just sort of pushing down on the, the head of the brush. And I, I guess I just got these ones because a, it was close, came up close by and you can get them straight away. And I wasn't sure if I'd like them. I've got so many different other, you know, ink blending tools and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on, I guess the scrapping brand ones if I didn't like them. Not to say that I wouldn't, I haven't tried them, but um, these were just a good, I guess starting point and much cheaper. So I'll use the blue now. This is tumbled glass. The other one was sponge sugar. Obviously with a bigger brush, it's much easier to get the ink onto the page. I quite like the bigger brushes actually. I don't know. Um, I think with the smaller brushes, there could be a use um, for them. I haven't actually use them if I'm honest um, but yeah look I, I don't know I'm not sure what I think but we'll see how I go with these ones and if I want to buy another set down the track then I can certainly do that okay some blue I don't want um, sort of thinking like this so I don't want sort of color everywhere might do a little bit more pink just here. I'll see how that is. Do it like that. Yeah, so it's sort of five spots of colour there, which I like. I like to work in uneven numbers i'll pop those away and then i've got this little cute stencil and just a palette knife i also have next to me some baby wipes for cleanup 
I'll grab a couple of those out. Because this, um, like with a lot of paste and things, if this dries, it'll dry like concrete and I won't be able to get it off. So it looks white um, in the jar, but it does dry clear and it will pick up the colour of what's actually underneath it. It's super cool. I do like it. So maybe I'll do some stars here, down here. Okay, so some up here. And you can, I don't know if you can hear it, but you can certainly feel the glass beads in the gel. You could probably make your own. If you had some micro beads and some um, matte medium, I reckon if you mix them together, you could make your own, but I happen to have this on hand, so might as well use it. It's a little more tricky with a smaller stencil. Um, not to make a giant mess, but we'll see how we go. Okay. Did I say I wanted some down here? Let me get it on the tip um, of the palette knife. And if I get any extra on the paper, I can just wipe it off. It's no big deal. I'm not worried about it. And that's the thing with scrapping. It should be fun and not... Um, a chore. I'll make sure I've actually got little beads in the stars. There we go. And see, there I just got a bit where I don't want it. I'll just wipe it off. Problem solved. There we go. And there's a little bit there. Maybe some over here as well. I think I'm going to do as many over here. I don't want it to just look like three sort of square blobs of stars, but those ones are already partially filled in, so I may as well fill them right in. Okay. There we go. Let's put that aside to dry. So while that's drying, I thought I would just um, let me move my lights. So it's not so bright. Um, I thought I would just prepare some um, other pieces that will go on my layout, which is the photos and the title. So with the photos, I'm just going to sand the edges and the title, I think I'm going to heat emboss because there's silver in the kit. So I've just got this WOW uh, metallic silver sparkle embossing glitter that I'll use. Um, yeah, I thought that might be cute. So. Okay, so I'm just trying to get that lighting right. I hope it's okay and you can see everything. Um, I'll just grab a sanding block. This one happens to be just a Tim Holtz one. And I like to just put the edge of the photo on my Tim Holtz glass mat. Okay, so that's that. I do actually have a dauber of the Versamark ink pad, but I can't find it. So we're just gonna use the actual ink pads. It's getting a bit scungy, but that's okay. I'm just gonna press the wooden piece into the Versamark, which is just a clear sticky ink, which will help the embossing powder adhere. And I find we may need a couple of um, coats of the embossing powder, but put your lid back on your Versamark before you actually start embossing so that you don't get embossing powder in your ink pad. So what I've got here is just an old piece of scrap paper fold it in half pop your piece on and then you don't have to worry about how much um, embossing powder you're using just go nuts we won't waste any of it and you use surprisingly little this tiny container will last you for ages so I'll just do that do do it without okay I'm just gonna lift tap off the excess well, that's pretty already and then all I'm going to do is fold up this paper and tip the excess powder straight back in its container so we don't waste any. Okay. This will do, this is just a 
old um, filing tool, but I just want something to hold down the piece. So excuse the noise, I'm just gonna heat up my really, really old heat gun. Probably do for a new one, but heat it up for a while so that when we bring it to the project, it's nice and hot. getting glitter embossing powder everywhere but look at that isn't it cute it's to be too perfect because i've actually got these little stars and i think i'm just going to leave those raw um so yeah i'm going to leave it like that and i've also got this little cute sequin heart so they'll go well together and yeah i'll be back okay so the stars are pretty much dry they're touch dry anyway there's still a bit to go in the middle but i've got this cute washi some flowers, I may even use the twine that came as part of the packaging. I've got my title, Love Heart, present. And these little um, printouts. So there's a deer head, that's cute. Some cut parts, Merry Christmas, it's beginning to look a lot like Tis the Season, some journaling spots. And then this was part of the packaging as well which is cute. So I'm just going to figure out placement now. So I might use a piece of washi on there, but I think I actually had it this way. Had a cat hair on it. I think I like it the other way actually better. Now I don't know which way up I had the <laughs> had it oriented. I think I like it like that. So here's my ATG. I find it easier when using doilies to apply the adhesive directly to the cardstock because otherwise um, it rips the doily. Got my big mama jumma. Um, foam adhesive. I think I'm going to put the smaller photo on the foam. And that roll cost me, I think, about $30. Um, that's the 3M adhesive. Bunnings also has one very similar for, I think it was $10. So I'll have to try that. I haven't tried that one yet. But yeah, I'll put that on top, I think. Okay, so I think that's going to go there. But before I stick it down, I think what I'll do, and I want a torn edge on that. It's going over some of the stars. I might just make it a little bit shorter. Okay. Now I'm just mucking around with placement here. Just 
see, I wonder what I might. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use that as a bit of a um, starting point for a bit of an embellishment cluster. I wish I could use a present there. I've also got these flowers though too. I've got this. I think will be cute there. But I think I'll put another piece of foam on just to make it a little bit higher so it doesn't interfere with sure if I'm going to use this heart or not. just don't want to cover up too much of the... Oh, I broke it! But that's okay. I think I'm going to put that there. Um, what will I use to adhere it with? I might use this Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. Mix it all in. Not sure if I'm going to use those big ones or not. Oh, 
Where's strings all over my fingers? 